on this UFC roster of specialists, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five to one. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, overhand left, no good. Beautiful strike. Fighters clinching here early. We expected a lot of this, and no surprise that we're seeing a clinch situation early on in this fight. Check, he did it right. He got right to the position he needed to in order to start this fight the way that he wants. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Goes to the body there. That strike blocked by Luke. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Way to hide that leg. Ooh, big shot lands. Beautiful body kick. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Lee gets touched by that kick there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. This whole guy's really throwing with authority. some of the replays DC and if you like the kicking game that was the round for you yeah man he used his kicks beautifully he managed distance managed space and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down he has to stay the course next round all right so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under he should stay the course he's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to his opponent. He throws his jab, he may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Just misses there with the left. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. 
Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big head kick lands. Oh. Oh. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hand landed. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. He's gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. Well, no surprise, he goes for the takedown there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants it to. 15 seconds remain in the round. Beautiful body kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, Chan. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Circling to his right. Real nice body kick lands. Body keep land right under the elbow. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Big kick land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes up. Big body kick land. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Shot is blocked. Almost in range with the straight left, but that strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Close guard. Now the guy's got armbar. He's attacking it on it. An attacking armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That one snuck in. Nice strike. How about those five minutes? All right, now we take a look back at some of the action.
mentioned in that previous round, DC, a lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shin guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Beautiful head kick, nice punch lands over the top. Just missed. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Punch landed with so much power. Real quick leg kick. Nice body kick. Just missing on the high kick there. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Big head kick. One minute to go in the round. Head kick. All right, single collar tie now. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice jab. Beautiful leg kick thrown. To pick your poison here if you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage. You open yourself up upstairs. 
He is in some serious trouble now. Nice kick. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick. Oh! Oh, he is up, but man, is he hooked. A finish could come here at any time. Under three minutes remain in round five. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Nice knee to the body by Lee. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and... Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for all replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 57 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and intention. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world.